So if you guess dehydrating, this is what's in salsa. Did you know that? You don't have to be a professional. Look at me. I'm doing it. You know what? My daughter was over here yesterday and said, Mom, it's not cilantro. It's cilantro. I looked at him like he's lost his mind because he doesn't wing anything. That was just a tip with Michelle time because I'm not I'm not really having that. I don't like clutter. Tips with Michelle. If I were lettuce, I wouldn't be happy either. That's probably the only way I'll ever own a cow is on a shirt. Did I make your Alexa go off? If I did, I'm sorry, not sorry. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Megan, me, and guess what we're doing today? Let me move my knife because this is exciting. Let me show you. We have this. So if you guessed dehydrating, you guessed right. Or if you read the title of the video, you already knew. Look at cilantro, cilantro. You know what? My daughter was over here yesterday and said, Mom, it's not cilantro, it's cilantro. Got it. I even asked. Alexa. I said, Alexa, how do you pronounce cilantro? Well, did I make your Alexa go off? If I did, I'm sorry, not sorry. So we're going to dehydrate this cilantro because I planted this outside and it's time to dehydrate this. This is a lot of cilantro and I just wanted it to make um, salsa. I got a lot of it. See, look at this. I'm going to replant something else in the cilantro place. Maybe more chives because they don't look like they're doing very good. Nor does my lettuce. But it's 90 degrees outside so if I were lettuce I wouldn't be happy either. So let me move this out of the way. This and we'll start cutting up cilantro because my college educated daughter said mom you're not saying it right. Okay, well, if you say so. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. And it smells like salsa. And it tastes like salsa too. Well, it doesn't really taste like salsa, but it reminds me of the taste of salsa because this is what's in salsa. Did you know that? I have enough cilantro in here to make enough salsa for the world, I think. I do believe. So let's start cutting this up and we'll get busy. Look at my shirt. Did you see my shirt? Look at this. Look, at, it says, don't be a salty heifer. Is that cute or what? That's probably the only way I'll ever own a cow is on a shirt. Chickens and roosters and things like that too have to be on my clothing, not in my yard because my husband said so. We're listening to my husband. I need another bowl. It's a good thing they're right here because I can just grab this bowl. We'll just go with the strainer because it was easier to get. Now, all this to cut up. All this to cut up. All this to cut up. See this? Got me a big old pile. Probably could use the same bowl, so let's just put this bowl away because that would make my life easier. I don't like clutter, and that is clutter. All right, now, I've come to the conclusion. When I cut this off, outside I didn't dig it up and pull it up because I didn't want the roots to come with it because that would be harder so why make my life harder so I cut it off like at the stem my plan is to just chop this chop 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 and throw it in the listen to my dog she's scratching herself and she's got a, the dingy thing on her collar that tag thing are you done thank you all right we're just gonna chop this up and throw it in this bowl and then I'm going to put it in my dehydrator. That's the plan. I was even thinking about not even chopping it up and throwing it in there but that's probably going to be a bad idea. So let's just chop this. Okay. Did not watch a video on this because I just didn't. I didn't even think about that until just this second. So I guess we're going to dehydrate the stems because they can't be bad. I mean, they're with the plant. I don't know. So I'm just kind of cutting these in like maybe, maybe that's two inches. Yeah. And boy, oh my gosh, does this smell? Well, that's a whole, well, we're just going to go with it. We wing things in this house. My husband, not so much, but let me tell you, he was doing something the other day and I said, well, how are we going to do this? Oh, I know what we were doing. Here I go, shaking my knife at you again. We were um, out at the fire and 
doing the cast iron skillets because I put my cast iron skillet in the dishwasher. Don't ever do that. That's a bad idea. Learn from my mistakes. Putting cast iron in the dishwasher. No, no, no. That's a no, no. So anyway, we were out there and I said, hey, do you know how to do this? And he's like, well, no. You know what? We're going to just wing this. I looked at him like he's lost his mind because he doesn't wing anything. And he started winging it for real. He did. And I'm the one that Googled it. I asked Google how to do this because, you know, I didn't really want to burn up anything. But it, it all turned out well. So now I've got these hunks of parsley, parsley, parsley. All right. And I'm just going to lay them. That one's purple. Oh, well, we'll just take that one out. Where was I? We're gonna just lay these in the the hydrator trays and hope to hope to God that it works. Okay, we're gonna just hope all of it works. All right, let me go get my dehydrator and I'll be right back. All right, I just brought over the trays because we're gonna dehydrate over there, that in that area. So what my plan is, I do have a plan because if some of this falls through, which I don't know if it's going to or not. I'm going to put this tray on the bottom, yeah, this one on the bottom because I have this one and this one. So this is going to go on the bottom and it can catch any of those little little guys that want to fall through because I'm not, I'm not really having that. And those of you that have never put a dehydrator together, they have these little, see that, little things, that's green on my finger, they latch into each other, all right. And if you try to put it in there upside down, it's not going to work. Again, learn from my mistakes. I seem to make a lot of them. So let's start filling. Oh, heck, let's just start. We need a system. Better system. Better system. All right, we're going to leave that tray empty for now. Just for now, because that's my catching tray. The catching for the, the, the little guys that fall through. And I'm just going to spread this around here. You know, and, and hope hope that it works. I mean, what could go wrong, right? I say that in every stinking video and something always goes wrong. Always goes wrong. Never fails. Am I piling them up? Um, kind of, but I'm piling, piling them thinly. So, see, look. That one started to sprout a flower. I would think that that's still good. I don't know. We're just going to put it on there anyway, because we are. And after I'm done dehydrating these, I'm going to put them in my blender, because I don't have one of those zoop, zoop, zoop things. I need to get one of those. So we're going to put it in the blender and, and make it to be like powdery. Not powdery, but a little chunky. After we look and see what it looks like. All right, that tray looks like I'm happy with. All right, do you know what my house is gonna smell like? Oh my goodness. My house is gonna smell like a Mexican restaurant. My husband's gonna think we're having Mexican food tonight. Maybe I ought to order some and, and just pretend like I made it. That's what I could do. I can order it, go pick it up, replate it all, put it in the pots and the pans on the stove and, and he's gonna think I've been cooking all day this such good food. He'll never know. Nope, he would never know that. That looks like a weed, so we're gonna get that out of there. I picked this earlier this morning. I tried, I went out and picked it when it was, um, not, that's a weed. When it was like 80 degrees, 85 degrees, not 95, like what it is now, or 90 degrees. I did do that. Again, I forgot what I was saying. I get sidetracked awfully easy. Do I have ADHD? I don't think so. I don't think so. I may. Who knows? All right, more on here. Now, what was I saying? I picked it while it was... Oh, I know what I was saying. It came back to me. All right. I picked it a couple hours ago, and I've washed my hands several times since, and I cannot get the smell of cilantro. If my daughter's watching, it's not cilantro. It's cilantro. Remember, we asked Alexa in the beginning of the video. I, my hands just stink. They just really stink. But good thing is, oh, that one fell through. Oh, but I don't have the bottom on, so it'll be easier to get. 
I believe that we're going swimming tonight at my other daughter's. I have two daughters that have swimming pools. So I think that tonight that G Ma and G Pa are going to go swim with the boys tonight. Oh, look, that's coming. Look it, we have escapees. There's an escapee right there. You see that? Look. You see that? Escapee. We may leave him escaped. Probably because if we go to try to get him out of there, we're going to have more escapees. This may end up in the garage. I don't know. When I did the onions, I did the, I dehydrated onions. Let me tell you, it was nauseating in here. It truly was nauseating. It really was. So I'm hoping this doesn't take forever because I have some bananas sitting over there and you, those and those of you that know have been watching my channel and are involved in my little dehydrating business going on here. I made this banana video and I got tired of waiting on them daggone bananas. So I put them in the oven. Again, learn from my mistakes. Don't do that. That's bad. That is bad. I've got all my trays full and here's my escapees. And I've got it I've got this escapee right here. I wonder if I could just pull it out. Oh jeez. Oh look, I just broke off. Huh, even better. Let me see if I can just rub that one off. Yep. Any more? Now oh look at oh look at this side. Quite a few of them over here. We'll just just look at they come right off when you rub. Come on. Turns your white to green, but you know what? I'm leaving those there. Oh, your stem's coming out now. See, look at this mess. You know what? We'll do it without this tray because we're, well, we'll put the tray in because you need the tray, but we'll do it out without this thing to start. And I probably could have put some on this tray now. All right, let's empty a little. Here we go. We're gonna take some out of this. Too much filled up. I, somebody's gonna tell me it's too much filled up. This one's kind of overloaded, so let's just use this. We'll utilize the bottom tray. I forgot we had the bottom tray. I did. We'll just replace some and squish some over. Oh, I just found something really cool out too. We we have we're gonna go at some point in our lives this year don't know when there's not a set date but we really want to go down to see lazy acres we're gonna like hang out with them and yellow house on the hill well guess what life and more reloaded lives like not even 30 miles away so we get to see everybody that makes me happy that that's gonna be a fun time there is a hashtag going around which one am i doing that one Let's see how squishy... Oh, he's fine. We're just not going to worry about that. There's a hashtag going around. Hashtag let's dehydrate. All one word. Hashtag let's dehydrate. I'll put it right here. Or this way. We'll do this way. Put it right here. All one word. If you want to make a dehydration video, you don't have to be a professional. Look at me. I'm doing it. You could be in the learning phases that's me but if you make a video Peggy at Page Family Homestead has a playlist running and there there's a lot of views happening in that playlist a lot of views so it would pay for you to make one of these videos you know what you don't even have to know what you're doing because I don't know what I'm doing if you want to go to the grocery store and buy like some vegetables or some frozen fruit or real fruit or whatever you want to do and just throw it in your dehydrator and make a video that's the way to go make a cake whatever you want to do all right we're going to put these actually in the dehydrator now and i'll be right back okay dehydrator over here see the trays are full i'm gonna like put this on lid on here like gonna like gonna no i'm gonna i did done did it done did it I done did it and put it on 135 you know, there goes my dog again I dropped a piece of cilantro on the floor and my dog wanted nothing to do with that not a thing well no darn it I threw that in the sink into something hold on a minute I gotta rinse my hand off because I have a little cup of I have a little cup of CLR CLR say it right CLR over here it's right here CLR, and you know what I did with this? You want to know? All right, CLR sprayer, let it soak in there overnight, and now my sprayer works better. 
So I'm not going to throw this away because, well, I probably should take those out of there, but I'll do that later because I'm going to use it somewhere else. That was just a tip with Michelle time. I don't know. Tips with Michelle. All right, let's plug this in. It is set. I got my nails done now so I can show you. See, look. Look at my nails. Look at... They put this thing on there. Do you see that? This guy wanted to put a design on my fingernail. Well, that's all well and good, but every time I look at my hands, I feel like I'm looking at a spider. All right, well, anyway, 135. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I don't think it's gonna be too long. This may end up out in the garage, I'm not sure. So the next check-in might be in the garage if this makes me nauseated. That's where it's going. All right. We'll check back in with this a little bit later. Wish me luck because it already stinks. Okay, this is a couple hours. It's been like three hours, I think. And my husband is home and he said he can't smell this. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's not anything like the onions. The onions were nasty smelling. This is not bad. Oh, dinner tonight is hot dogs. We have a lot of buns. So we didn't get Mexican and I didn't like trick him into eating Mexican food because we're having hot dogs. All right, check them out. These are getting, I mean, they're, this is very crispy. The stem is still moist, I can tell. So I'm gonna leave these go for a couple more hours until the stem cooperates with us and dehydrates. So I'll be back in a couple hours. It's four o'clock now, so I probably won't go to bed by the time these are done. All right, but we'll check back in. You didn't need to know all that, did you? Probably not. Let's check the dehydrator. It's been a couple more hours. Oh, wow. Look at this. Can you see that? It's Oh, it's turning into powder. And I think the stems are done. But I am going to stop here because it looks like I'm just going to disintegrate these maybe. I don't know. I probably have a bunch of powder sitting at the bottom of the dehumidifier. Or the, the dehydrator. Yeah dehumidifier don't know where that came all right let me let me check at the bottom let's let's do that together shall we I just want to see if anything's fallen through the bottom let's see yep and that's okay because I'll scrape that out and put it in my canning jar and I think that I'm gonna let this rest now overnight I'm thinking as I'm talking to you I'm gonna let it rest overnight and then come over here now my kitchen's a little messy now i have this handy dandy mixer handy dandy blender mixer thing whatever you call it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to like chop it all up in there if i can't do it by hand i might be able to do it by hand we'll see tomorrow but i'm going to let this rest overnight just so i know it's cool and ready to be um chopped up and put in my canning jar all right well i will see you tomorrow so we can finish our project and let me tell you, it doesn't smell. This doesn't smell. It doesn't smell anything like I thought it would. Well, I went swimming. It was fun. But we're back now. It's about 8.30 at night. So these have been in um, six hours, a little more. And I think they're done. And I don't think I have to do anything else to them. I'm not going to put them in the blender. I'm going to just put them, store them like this in one of my canning jars. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So then it'll stay a little more leafy. Plus it's gonna squish up when I when I pack it down, it'll break apart. Cause this is so, it's, it's so uh, crisp. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the lid back on here so the cat doesn't get in it. Cause you, you never know with my cat. And let this cool tonight and rest and do whatever the things it needs to do. And then I'll do that tomorrow. So hashtag let's dehydrate page family homestead they have that tag going if you want to make a video she'll add it to the playlist and the playlist is getting huge people are getting quite a bit of views from that playlist so add a video all right i'll see you next time bye mm -hmm.